Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Trisha the Inky Planner and I have not done a video in ages. I am in my new um, craft room that is set up in my new home. It has taken us a while to get settled here. We've got a lot of projects to do and uh, so I appreciate everybody's patience. While I, um, while I was taking a little hiatus here from my YouTube channel and uh, I was off of almost all social media for a while but trying to work my way back into a regular schedule. I'm trying to post um, a little bit more regularly on my blog and on Instagram and um, and then this is my first video that I will have back up. I had my husband reinstall my shelves and the mount um, over my workspace that so I could use my camera again so here I am. Um, so one thing that has has changed a bit this summer is I'm using my um, personal size planner quite a bit and I'm also um, I've adopted this new sort of uh, system which I'm really really liking which is my full week um, on this fold out page this is a plan to create insert that is a printable that you can get off of Etsy and I'll link to her shop and um, it's skinny columns, but in the summertime, I have figured out that this, um, you know, we don't have a, a real tight schedule. We don't have tons going on. I'm at home with the kids, and um, especially here in August, you know, a lot of their activities are wound down now, and we just have, you know, miscellaneous, a couple of practices and things like that, but we don't have a a jam-packed schedule so I'm really able to fit everything I need and all I'm putting on this page is just my schedule um, I'm not doing to do's or anything else because what I do then is on the opposite page I have a daily that really zeroes in on the events and the to do's and any other focus items for that specific day so that means I don't have to put as much detail over here and it works just great and that way, all in one spread, I can see, you know, the nitty gritty of what I have to do for the day and what lays ahead of me. But I also have a quick glance of what the rest of the week brings. So as I'm thinking about my to do list, I can think, oh, you know, is there a be is there a better time, like a little better pocket of time tomorrow when I'm going to be able to do that errand or. Um, will I have a babysitter at one point later in the week and that'll allow me to get a couple of things accomplished or whatever so I can I can kind of keep my eyes um, glanced forward on the schedule for the rest of the week but really really zero in on the details of my day over here on this side and I've really been enjoying this it's all in one spread and sometimes I um, plan them together like this obviously this is coordinated with the same washi and all the similar colors and then sometimes I start fresh and just try to make it complement this color scheme but not necessarily matchy um, so this was yesterday's um, I'm filming this on a Tuesday morning and I do wake up usually before the rest of my family and just kind of plan out my day um, it's a good kind of morning routine for me so this is Mondays um, and I'll go through and review you know what did not get done on my to-do list so that I can push it forward to today and then I'll um, pull out a page so that I can plan for Tuesday uh, so most of the time I snip my daily page so that I can just pull these in and out see that and it just sort of works like those disk systems I just after I do my punching um, I just take a scissors and I just sort of snip a little slit that way they can pop out real easy that's because this one I'm working on throughout the day so I may pull in it pull it in and out several times as I'm writing on it and doing my things I don't do that to this side just because it's got to last me for the week and I don't need to pull it out very often and I just don't want it to um, come apart so another um, thing I've started do, doing recently is I am a huge paper saver like I hate to waste anything um, I don't know maybe I'm cheap <laughs> but I just don't like to waste um, and since you're always using just just this page on the left side it's like the back sides of them tend to get overlooked right unless you unless you have enough information from your one day that it could spill over to some additional lists like you could keep a, a grocery list on the back or something which would be great 
I didn't happen to have that. So what I have been doing is just flipping this this way, upside down. Um, you know, rather than this way, I'm flipping it upside down like this. And my little um, boxes that I have had pre-printed for myself are in a slightly different orientation when I do this, but I don't mind. It's actually um, it's actually very easy to plan with this orientation as well. I just I have my long skinny box um, over on the right side instead of in this case I have it over on the left, and then um, I have divided boxes on the left, and I have a little bit of a um, larger sort of title box, if you will, up there. So it, it does not bother me at all. And I'll just show you, I'm gonna go back to last week. Um, you can see I've got, here's my Thursday that's upside down. And then my Friday, which is, this is an atypical spread for me. I was just getting kind of creative with that one. But, and then here's Wednesday, which is sort of the backwards orientation with the long list on the right. And then my Tuesday that's upside down. So you get the idea. So for today, um, here's Monday leftover, and I'm going to go ahead and plan Tuesday on this page. So I'm just uh, getting my things out of the way. I'm pulling out, I almost always do stamping on my pages. So I am pulling out my um, pad to stamp on. I always get better impressions with this. If you've watched any of my videos, this is called the Stamper's Secret Weapon. And then I'm just going to go through and um, kind of gather some colors and supplies and things that I might need, um, keeping in mind the color scheme that I used on that weekly spread so that they um, go nicely together. So I'll be back in a moment. So I've looked through my supplies and I decided to go with a little bit of a monochromatic look this week. So I selected um, four colors out of my ink swatches. They're all in this teal pool kind of family ranging from light to dark. These all happen to be Stampin' Up! inks, which are some of my very favorites for using in my planner. They have a lot of great properties, and I want to do a, um, a video about why I love them so much. But um, And then I just grabbed, and I've got a whole giant stack here, but I kind of just grabbed a bunch of stickers that had some examples um, or had some options in the colors that I'm looking for. So I'm going to start with a little bit of washi, if you will, kind of faux washi. These are just sticker strips that I have made in my silhouette um, using some of the basic patterns that come with the silhouette software. So this is like nothing tricky. And I've just, you know, made long skinny rectangles and then kiss cut them on sticker paper. So I love this pretty like fish scale scallop. I'm going to go ahead and line that up with my inside border. And it's just slightly longer than my page, so it's just easy to trim off the excess with the scissors or tear it, whatever you prefer. So when I look at my schedule today, I know I don't have a ton of um, events. I don't have appointments or anything. We just have my daughter's practice uh, for volleyball, and then there's a little parent meeting after that. So I don't need a huge box for that. So I could put that in one of these smaller boxes. And then my to-do list um, always seems to be longer. So I think I'm going to put that over here in the long uh, section. So I'm going to use this to-do stamp from Strawberry Jude. And I'm using Bermuda Bay ink. And then right underneath, I'm going to use one of these little cute bunting stickers. And that came from this, um, I know, I saw a video of how to pronounce this, but I still am probably going to do it right, but um, Michael Ken, Mike Halkin designs, um, these cute little bunting flags. So I love how that looks up there, it gives it a little header, and then I always seem to find a spot for my trusty Studio L2E lines. Uh, this is just the List It Lines set. It is almost on every single one of my spreads. 
And I'm going to choose a softer color for the lines. So I'm going to use my uh, pool party ink. If you don't have um, a huge range of colors and you want to do a monochromatic spread, you could um, you could stamp off. You could use second generation stamping so that you would get full strength in some parts of your um, layout and then second generation in other parts. And if you're not familiar with that, I did a whole video on that. I'll link it below. Um, but that's a really slick way to get a little more mileage out of your inks. So I'm going to give myself a nice long to-do list. So one of the things I love about Stampin' Up! inks in addition to just their stamping properties is that they have coordinating markers. So I'm going to go in with my ruler and a marker, even though this one's a little bit dried up, got to go over it a couple times. And just give myself a little checkbox off to the left for all of those to do's. All right, this is an old uh, Word Fetty sheet from Scraptastic, and I just spotted this today sticker. And I'm going to layer that, I think, on top of a little just black and white polka dot. And this is from the Reset Girl. And they're just little circles, I think she calls them gumballs. I'm going to put that up here in the corner and put the today just like that. And then these will be my couple of events for the day. For my events today, I think I'm going to keep it real simple and I just have a solid tiny star stamp. Um, this one came from, I have several of them. I'm pretty sure this one came from this set. This is the Studio L2E Planet set, which is again an uh, oldie but a goodie from them. And just a simple little star is a nice little bullet point. Um, and I think I'll go with my darkest color. This is Island Indigo, which is a really deep teal. And it's a pretty juicy pad, so I'm just going to tap it real light on there. See, and you just get a nice tiny little star. I have these. I think these are from, an, oh gosh, I think they're from Erin Condren. I'm not positive, but I think so. Um, and they're just these little tiny workout stickers. Um, they have various, you know, cardio, arms, legs, core, etc. This one says workout, and it is kind of in my color family. And um, my morning workout today was cardio. I don't have a cardio one in this teal, so I'm just going to put that sticker there that says workout, because that was my... 7 a.m. workout today. And then I still use my Friction uh, 038 Slim, and I'm just going to write cardio under there. As I mentioned, my only other appointments are um, my daughter's volleyball practice. So I'm just going to mark that. I do have a little volleyball sticker. <clears throat> That I could use. Where'd that go? Um, there are these guys. I have these little volleyball event stickers. This is Planner Kate. Um, and I love these. As you can see, I've used the majority. But I think for this layout, I'm just going to keep it simple with these stars and just write it in. Right after volleyball, they want to have a little parent meeting, so I'm just going to write that on there too so that I remember. And that's it for our schedule today. Summers are, <laughs> summers are so nice and light like that. Won't be long till we're into the full throttle schedule of fall. This is another old Scraptastic sheet that was just, um, gosh, from September of 16. I'm going to say you're old. But it had all these boxes and stuff on there, and I just noticed that it had this cute little sticker that said, let's have some fun, and it's right in this um, color.
color family. So I'm just going to put that there just for another block of color over here on the left side of the page. You know, we've got this and the washi over on the right and I want to keep it balanced. I have this sheet from Sticker Guru, which is a really pretty kit, and I've used a lot of it, and I happen to notice that um, there was a perfectly coordinated little um, double dot, I guess quarter box or whatever you call these, and I'm going to put that here to sort of separate out the left side of my page. And something I've been also having a little fun with is the weather. Um, because it's a daily, I don't do that on my weeklies. Geez, the weather here in Michigan can change at a moment's notice. So um, I certainly don't plan out the week's worth of weather. But when I get to the day, um, I do, it kind of forces me to look at the weather forecast for the day. So I know, you know, hey, could it be a pool day today? Is it bright and sunny? Or is it, um, you know, going to be rainy and I can get some things done around the house? Whatever the case. So I made these stickers on my silhouette. Um, just tiny little weather icons and then I just wrote out these little things that say today's weather or forecast whatever so I think I'm gonna just put that right here unfortunately I think it's kind of a cloudy day although it's supposed to brighten up so I think I'm gonna use this little partly cloudy one here and then I will check the temperature and just write that in next to that little icon. Um, the other part of that same Sticker Guru set, this one here that had this pretty watercolor, um, it has all these headers. And again, I'm not doing the purples and the pinks so much, but I do have, there is a meal sticker on there with a tiny little fork and knife. Um, so I think I will put that hmm, somewhere. just right here under my weather and then I think I'll just use a little gel pen and I always kind of start my gel pen on the back of my hand to make sure it's working I'm not sure if this is my newer one or not It's Taco Tuesday at our house, so I just wrote that in. You could write in your normal black pen. It would show up fine on here, but I just thought I would put that in in white for something a little different. These are from Simple Stories. Um, these came with the um, Carpidium line, and they're just, they're like these full boxes, but they're like full boxes for the size of a monthly calendar. Um, so they're just like little squares and this one's in my that perfect teal color and it says get stuff done but I don't think I want the whole square so I think I'm just going to use my scissors and cut out that little circle there and now I've got something cute and I could put that I'm just kind of looking to see where the holes are on the back of the page I might put that over to this side Maybe not that far. There we go. I Sometimes I've been writing in my meal planning for the day, um, but I just started back onto a program for healthy eating, and um, it's pretty detailed what I'm doing, and so I just have a whole separate sheet that I'm following. I keep it in my kitchen and it's really, really explicit. Each meal has like a protein and a vegetable and whatever. So um, it's more detail than I want to get into here. So all I'm really focusing on is putting in the um, family meal, like the dinner, so that I just make sure that I know what I'm planning for dinner. The rest of it, like kind of wing my lunches with the kids. We'll make, we'll make sandwiches or whatever. And then the other thing I do like to have with me is to track water. So sometimes I'll put stamps in for hydrating and sometimes I'll use these tiny little um, cute little glasses with the eight ice cubes. I'm not sure how well you can see it but um, it has little eight little ice cube check boxes. These are adorable from Symposi Press. Um, but I think I'm going to use the stamp actually today. 
I'm going to use these. Uh, this is from Clearly Planned. This set's called Oh My Quad. It's a funny little uh, health and fitness set. And they have these um, water glasses. And I think I'm going to use this Bermuda Bay color. Whoopsie. Throwing things around. And I'm going to give myself some water tracking down there. I always think it's cute to fill those in. I've got my Prismacolor colored pencils just sitting in a jar on my desk. And so I thought I would reach for those and just really lightly. Color them in like that. Ah, I'm just noticing here where I must have um, dropped that ink pad down on my page, but oh well, these things happen. So I'm feeling like I could use a little break over here on this left side, and I've got the black and white polka dot there, and so I'm thinking the black and white would tie in together, and I'm just gonna. I don't know, separate that. I don't know why I'm feeling like it needs it. And I'm going to use my straight edge. Any kind of straight edge will do credit cards or people use um, craft knives and just make a little slit. But I just take the edge of my little ruler or page divider and especially on these skinny washies, they come real easy. So I think I've got everything on here that I really need, um, other than obviously writing in my tasks for the day, but I just want to put on the day of the week. It is Tuesday, and I love this cute font, and this is a really nice size. This is called Day by Day from uh, Tailored Expressions. So I'm going to use this Tuesday. And I'm going back to that dark uh, Island Indigo ink. I'm just going to put this right here at the top. And they have a coordinating set with the same font. This is called Month by Month. Let me go ahead and grab August out of here. These are uh, Scraptastic stamps, and I really don't remember when they're from, but I want to say late last year. But they have this cool font, a little bit bigger than what this is, but um, I'm going to go ahead and use those. And today's the, why did I grab that one? It's the 22nd. Today's the 22nd, so um, all I need is the two. And I'm just going to... put that right there. When I was going through my sticker sheets, I came across these, um, I think they were called, I don't know, I want to say it was like a seasonal pack or something like that. I don't know exactly. I'll try to look it up, but they were from Simple Stories. I don't know if they still have them. They were part of the Carpe Diem release. Um, and I spotted these really pretty florals and I thought, I know I'm doing monochromatic, but this has that beautiful teal in the background um, and it would just be maybe a pretty pop of color so I'm just gonna see if I can't work these in somewhere I'm not sure if I can or not So I cut this one in half um, as I trimmed off the edge and I'm just adding a little bit layered on top of that circle sticker. I've got a little bit more trimming to do there. 
And then I have this other one that coordinates. And then I'll just trim the excess off of that as well. And now we've got three of those, which is always nice to have an odd number of things and they're sort of in a rough triangle shape. So that's always pleasing from a design standpoint. So I think I'm gonna call it done. Um, all I need to do is um, punch my holes and go ahead and write in my to-dos and I will be done. So I'll be back with um, some still photos at the end so that you can see it back in my planner. Here, I'll just pull it over here. Here's my week. So again, it's not matchy-matchy. I don't have any of that pale yellow or the lavender color, but it goes with the teal and um, I think it looks real pretty to go with my week. So that wraps up my plan for today. Um, I am very happy to be filming again down in my craft space and to be getting this content back on YouTube. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for um, subscribing. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. See you next time.